Right then, hello there, Mark here, and slightly different angle than uh, normal to start with. Now what I'm, what I'm doing is, I'm going to do a stir fry, which involves three slices of bacon, three slices of bacon which I've, I've uh, chopped up into small pieces, a few steak chunks that I pulled out of the freezer and I, I used some earlier, well I was going to use some earlier with the, the deep fried onion rings and peppers or whatnot but I didn't get around to doing that. Uh, so I'm going to cut those into tiny pieces and here is a one chicken breast here which I've cut up into tiny pieces also. Now while the, while the fat is heating up what I'm doing is I'm just cutting the meat into very small pieces because uh, I want it to cook really quick and I want to be able to, you know, as normal, I want to be able to eat it with a spoon. So I'll just cut it into some tiny pieces to, so it makes it just, makes it easier all around, you know, makes it easier to mix. So when you dive in there into the bowl of food with a spoon, if it's in small pieces, you're guaranteed to get a little piece of everything all in one uh, one, one spoonful. Okay, there you go. That's uh, that's that. All right. Now the the it should be. I'll turn it. Out, yeah, it's at, it's at nine. It's at nine uh, out of twelve on the on the cooker. Now, when it comes up to temperature, what I'm going to do is I'm I'll put the I'll put the beef and the chicken at the same time. And then after a few minutes of that, just let it brown off slightly. Then I'll put the bacon in there. Okay. And then I've, uh, these, are, these are the peppers and the onions I got left over from doing the fried in batter experiment. Okay. So this is what's left. So I've diced these up into very small pieces and uh, go throw them in also. And... Let me see. Uh, actually, I'll get things organised and I'll show you what's what. And uh, at the end of it, I'll be putting this co-op spicy Mexican rice. There we go. So if I can get that in focus there. It's uh, cooked long grain rice with sweet corn, beans and red peppers. Right. Well, I've also, uh, yeah, I'm going to be adding a boatload of green peppers. Anyway, it's going to be a lot. Yeah. It's going to be quite crunchy. I've actually put red uh, red and green peppers into a stir fry before and it comes out really good, you know, just extra. Anyway, uh, I was in Tesco the other day buying some, I can't remember, I was buying some flour and stuff for my next bread making, <gasps> um, bread making episode. So uh, what I did while I was in there, I went into, I was in Tesco, I bought some sweet and sour cooking sauce. Now, there you go, that's what that looks like, and there's 80 pence. A fruity Chinese-style sauce with pineapple, carrots, and red and green peppers. More peppers, wow. All right, so, but yeah, I, I thought as I'm, you know, it's there, I thought, you know, it's a bargain, it's a shop, and it's uh, 80p, which is roughly what I've been paying for the co-op. I've uh, been paying like, uh, you know, 90p, somewhere around that for... Of theirs. Anyway, so I'm going to give that a go. So we'll give that a see what it's like. Uh, I haven't decided yet. This is the hoisin ho ho sauce. This is what I used again on the previous video with the deep fried onion rings and uh, green deep fried green peppers. I might put some of this in. I don't know. I'm going to sort of uh, test it out. You know, see how it goes. Anyway, okay. I'm going to uh, I'm going to get busy. Bringing the fat up to heat. Right then, the heat, <coughs> the heat seems to be up to up to temperature. So I'm going to put the beef and the. It's probably going to start making a big racket here. I'm going to put the chicken and the beef in there. Woo. Okay. Let's get that up. Move that around a bit. Okay. 
Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to brown this off. Wow, this is making a racket. I'm going to brown this off, and then I figure the bacon takes less time to cook. So that'll go in last. Well, the, the last of the three meats, that is. Okay, I'm going to turn this down. I'm going to turn this down to seven, no, six. I'll turn it down to six. Okay. Actually, what I'll do, you don't need to uh, roll, well, yeah, that's just browning away. Okay. What I'll do, uh, I'll, the other day, I made a sandwich of righteous justice. There we are. <laughs> it was number three. Okay, and um, what, what it involved? It involved some steak and some chicken and some bacon. Pretty much what was the, uh, that's what I used and this is what's left over. Okay, and I put that in a sandwich. Have a look at it. Righteous justice challenge number three. And I asked you, the viewer, if you fancied naming the sandwich. And uh, and a few and a few people write actually. Uh, let me see. Kerry Gardner. Actually, one of it. Well, uh, San. Oh yeah. Uh, sorry, I'm just getting mixed up there. Kerry Gardner. She says you could call it the CBX with ch CBS with cheese. The CBS with cheese. So I, I thought that was quite clever. You know, they've got the CBS, which I think is a news channel. And CBS being chicken, bacon, steak. There you go. So the CBS with cheese. So, uh, very, very, very good. Kerry Gardner. Thank you. Um... Gray Rothwell says that in Liverpool they call that a doorstep butty. Okay, so that's Liverpool. Um, oh, Brendan, uh, Brenda Strand Rigdon says I can use a rolling pin. What I was doing, I bought a hammer and I was hammering the meat, getting it flat, and it was making a bit of a racket and. Um, you know, it, 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 she uh, she writes that I could use a rolling pin, which would probably be a lot of it, so I can put my weight on it, um, most likely, and it'd be less less noise, you know, because it won't be you know it won't be banging on the surface uh, of the the side cabinet there for to, to flatten the meat. So, uh, Brenda Strand Rigdon, thank you for that. Yeah, I'm going to go the I'll go the market. And I'll probably get a rolling pin actually. Um, okay, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put the bacon in now. Okay, I'll turn that. Uh, there you go. All right, I've just put the bacon in. And I'm going to move that around. There's three slices of bacon. I've, uh, I've chopped them up quite roughly, not into any kind of, uh, you know, just pretty much the same size, you know, just, I'm going to try and separate these out, okay, yeah, I'm just going to try and separate the, the pieces, because there, there was three in a stack, so when I cut them, they, they stayed in threes, So uh, just to so separate them out, so they, you know, so they're even, so they're thinner against the heat. There. And that way, each piece gets in contact with the with a hot saucepan. Yeah. Anyway. Um, right. That was Brenda Rigdon. Use a rolling pin. 
training and gaining Macintosh journey. He calls it the protein meat witch with cheese. Yeah, that was quite good. There's three lots of meat, so there's plenty of protein in there. Uh, the protein meat witch with cheese. All right, very good. And also, all right, there's one more. Okay, yeah, what I'm doing, I'm, uh, yeah, I'm pretty much, I might, actually, I'll turn this, I can't remember if I told you, I'll turn this down to six now. I think that might be a little bit low. What I'll do, <clears throat> I'm going to put a little bit more oil in here, I think. There you go, a little bit more oil. There, everything's sort of browning off pretty good. I'm going to turn this up to seven. There we are, just to get the heat back up. Okay. All right, let's go back up to me. And the last but not least, Pete Thomas, who was the person who invented the challenge, the, the Righteous Justice Challenge. Sandwich of Righteous Justice Challenge, that's the full title. Uh, Pete Thomas, now he writes, the reggae meat triple with cheese. Now I like that. That's, yeah. <laughs> the Because uh, I, I actually, because um, I put reggae, reggae sauce in there, you see. The reggae meat triple with cheese. That's quite clever, I like that. Okay, all I need now is a, is a, a company to put it in their sandwich shop. And you know, there's a few good names for them. Okay, so thank you to everybody who wrote in with some names. Um, yeah, some quite clever ones there, you know. It's, uh, anyway, all right, so no doubt in a... Tell you what, I'm going to turn this up again, I think, seven and a half. Yeah, so, so in, a, in a couple of weeks, perhaps, if I, if I can think of a new, a new sandwich, I'll, uh, I'll film that and get you to come up with some new names. All right, I'll tell you, <clears throat> sandwich number one and sandwich number three, they come up with names. The second one, I, didn't, I, I forgot to uh, ask for anybody giving us some names and, you know, nobody really wrote in them, you know. But if I remind you, you know, and, and all, even if I don't, you know, just write in anyway. You know, it's, uh, it's good to, you know, get some funny and clever names. Okay, anyway, here we go, back on to the business at hand. <clears throat> Actually, this is turning out to be a non-stop video. All right, what I'm going to do, I'm going to pause there and then get this cooked up. This is taking uh, 13 minutes now. Yeah, what I've done, I've just done what you've seen me do before. I've tilted the pan, spooned out the oil into a special container, and I've forgotten, I've forgot to put the... Uh, peppers and the onion in. So I'm going to put them in now. Just give them a, just give them a few minutes. I'll tell you what though, this bacon is really smelling good. Okay. Yeah, I, I should have put the, uh, the peppers and onion in before. Because I want them to cook before I put the sweet and sour sauce in there but you know it's one of those things at the very you know it, it'll 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 probably cook once I put the sauce in but I'll, I'll, you know I want it to be I don't want it to be raw I want it to be you know fairly crunchy anyway that's looking good it <laughs> right it's got about yeah six what I did I, I bought a pack of um, uh, steak which I've used for several recipes. I pulled them out of the freezer the other day and uh, defrosted them. They're, they're basically chunks. And uh, that and the last chicken breast and three slices of bacon left over from the um, some di oh left over from the righteous sandwich the other day. Yeah. So this is what this. Um, Stir fry is all about. It's all. It's all about using up the odds and 
odds and sods, bits and pieces out of the freezer, clearing out a bit of space, making room and uh, utilizing, you know, because basically, I mean, the, the amount of steak that I had there, I, I could have made a pie perhaps and with the chicken breast, uh, you know, but I mean, we, and, and also with three bits of bacon, there's not a lot you can do there other than make a sandwich, but at least this way, you get to just amalgamate all three bits of meat into one dish and uh, make something tasty and colourful. All right. all right, that should about, I should about do that. Um, I'm going to turn it down to seven. Oh, Jesus. I should have, oh, I should have opened this bottle before. Ah, right. I see, I always have trouble, you know, with the uh, jars there. All right, there we go. Yeah. First, um, first impression of this sauce is very, it seems very thin. There you go, all gone. Yeah, it just seems very thin, which is not altogether bad. It's just that if it's if it's too thick, you just got to add some, you know, add some water to it. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to possibly turn that to six. I'm going to let that simmer for a while, and um, you know, just let it gently bubble away. Okay, we'll come back shortly. Okay, the Stir fry is pretty much come to the end of its cooking. That's the, 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 the sauce that is. Of course the meat and everything is already cooked before. Now it's gently bubbling away. I'm going to now put the Mexican, the co-op Mexican spicy rice. This is like 70, 79p or something. I think. Yeah, they've they got to be, you know selection of those. Anyway, so I'm going to put this in the microwave. It's going to take two minutes. And then when that comes out, actually, yeah, if I'd have thought about it, I could have put some hash browns with this as well. That would have really been good. But uh, there wasn't time for that. So I'm going to put this in the microwave for two minutes and then throw it in there. Okay. Ah, oh, holding this is hot. Okay, now, and the, the last ingredient is just pull the rice out of the microwave. Funny thing is, it would have been done two minutes ago, but I had it cooking for two minutes, the rice. Pulled it out of the microwave, and then realized that I still had the microwave on defrost from when I was um, defrosting some meat, and I hadn't corrected it, so it, of course the rice didn't cook. Anyway, so I, I put it back in, and it's all ready. Just give it a mix, get all the uh, sauces mixed in with the rice, Okay, right, turn it off. Okay. In fact, I'll turn that just slightly. Okay, there we have it. So, bacon, steak, chicken, extra onions, extra peppers, Sweet and sour stir fry sauce and rice. There. Oh man, that looks good. Some spoon. Right. Let's bring that up and I can uh, tell you about what it tastes like. There. Man, it's steaming like crazy. Yeah, I'll tell you what, it's, it's got a lot of. Yeah, it gives it a lot of colour and uh, crunchiness, hopefully, the with the peppers. Hmm. The peppers have kept their crunch, considering they've been um, fried and then cooked in the sauce. Hmm. This, this sweet and sour sauce is actually quite good, too. It's, um, it is sweet, you know? 
well not overly overly sweet but um, it does it does taste sweet it's very nice mmm I wish I remembered to put some uh, let me hold that up there I wish I remembered to put some hash browns in here that would have really gone uh, see I, I've done that before with um, stir fries put some hash browns in there it's like you know, your throat is, you know, just potato, you know, just, just bulks it up. Makes it more substantial. Hmm. I don't actually know what the, um, the cost of this meal is. I could probably work it out roughly. But pretty much, it was, uh, it was, it was, you know, bits and pieces that I pulled out of the freezer. That I used some of it on the sandwich. And the rest of it just, um you know, throw it together to make a meal, you know. Three different meats, you know, but meats that you couldn't really do much with on their own. But, combine them, it makes for a good dinner. Anyway, right, okay, well, keep forgetting to hold that up. I'm going to finish the rest of the dish, and thank you very much for watching. Right. bye-bye.